Hello everyone and welcome back to Southern Bazaar. In this video we will learn about load types in State Pro. Several load cases may be created for a structure and each load case may contain several individual load specifications. Load cases may also be created by combining several existing load cases. A load case consisting of explicitly defined loads is called a primary load case. A load case which combines the results of previously defined cases is called a combination load case. You can get the loadings from the menu bar itself. In the loadings, you can see primary load case that we have just defined, combination load case. There is one reference load case also. In the loading tab, you can see several load cases and types. Let us understand one by one. Primary load case. A primary load case is a set of explicitly defined loads, presumably, presumably from the same physical source, which will be passed to the analysis engine during the analysis of the model. Each of these explicitly defined loads is referred to as load item. In the state input file, a primary load case is defined indicated by the load and command. Some examples of where a primary load case would be used are all dead load on a structure, the reducible live load on the structure, the wind load on the structure, superimposed dead load on the structure. If you go to loadings and see the load cases, we have defined dead load, live load, wind load as primary load case. The primary load case is indicated by L before it and the number of load case and the name of it. If you double click on it, it will show you the number of the load, loading type and the title of the load. And in the edit box, it shows that this is the primary load. Load combination. A load combination is a set of load results which are combined algebraically, algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post processing. Therefore. A load combination instructs the program to take the results of previously sold primary load cases, factor them appropriately and combine the values using algebraic SRSS or absolute method. In the state input file, a load combination is indicated by a load combination and command. In the window, you can see that C. The C defines the it is that it is the combination load type. It shows the load number name of it, how it is being combined and which are the loads that has been combined and with which factor it shows. Reference loads Large models can include multiple load cases which do not require analysis in their own right and are simply the building blocks for including inclusion in primary load cases. Reference load may be defined for this purpose. This is similar to a repeat load command, but has the added benefit of not being sold in its own right. That means reference load are not sold individually, that will be sold once they are the part of primary load case. This converts a real load case to something similar to load case definition. A reference load case is sold only when it is later called in the load case. The benefit is that it enables you to define as many load cases as you wish but instruct the program to actually solve only a limited number of real load cases, thus limiting the amount of results to be explained, examined. Reference load cases can be defined from here. It is same as the primary load case, you can add it and it will be in the definition. And you can add reference load case in any load primary load case through the repeat load reference load tab and once you add that it shows you that this primary load case includes this reference load case and this reference load will be working with dead load itself it will be the part of dead load uh, real time example can be self weight floor finish sunken load wall load you can define each load cases in reference load is uh, reference loads and in the primary load case you can define only dead and live and in the dead load you can include all these reference load cases of floor finish, sunk, wall load etc. So that in the analysis results you only have to deal with dead load not the individual loads, notional loads that is vehicle loads. 
you can learn about it later on load list a load list is a primarily used to specify a list of existing load cases and combinations to be used for subsequent processes such as design and printing load list in the input file you have to provide load list before any analysis that is for still design we will be using load list that is 101 to 117 this means that the design of steel structure will be done for these combinations only and not for the whole lot of combinations and cases and for the steel structures we have defined a load list 201 to 225 that is limit state combinations load envelopes load envelopes are a means for clustering a set of load cases under a single moniker if one or more task have to be performed for a set of load cases such as serviceability checks under steel design for one set of load cases strength checks under steel design for another case of combinations this feature is convenient this is an alternative to load list and is primarily used primarily used in post processing and design load envelopes also have keyword types which identify that intended and used in design you can define load envelopes in load envelopes as you can see we have defined two envelopes one is that for strength and the other is that for serviceability if you double click on it it shows you that it is an envelope this is envelope 1 it is type strength and we have defined the design load combinations for steel structures in working stress in serviceability we have defined the load combinations for limit state design of concrete structure it should be strength not serviceability but you cannot define the same type twice that is why we have defined it in serviceability we have just tweaked the step row load definitions definitions contains the options to use the defined data required to create wind load cases seismic load cases etc the definitions comes at the first line first paragraphs of the tables and in the loadings you can define wind and seismic definitions from here itself wind snow seismic etc this is definite and load system you can as well define time history and model damping you can create auto load combinations from here as well as from here if you click on the load case and press add and you can see auto load combination comes here you can define it manually by your own you can generate the vehicular load from here and these are the primary load cases in each load case when you press on the load case and press add it shows you the load definition the specification dialog box which allows you to add the new loads new loads can be of self weight nodal load member load physical member load area load floor load plate load etc various kinds of loads are there to be to be specified basically you will be creating a primary load case in the load case you will be specifying the load items and then you will be combining those load cases in the load combinations and envelopes and ultimately you will provide the load list for which the design needs to be done this is how state pro works for each load specifications we will we will provide you with the videos later on as you can see in this model we have created dead load case and we have specified load items within it in the wind load also we have specified different loads and we have later on combined them with load combinations as well as load envelopes and before the design parameters in the input file we have provided the load list command you can provide load list command in from analysis define command and as you can see there is no parameter here you have to go to analysis command we have seen and in the basically we mostly gives load list from the input file itself but you can give it from here also analysis and design and in analysis data data you can define the load list hope you understand the loading patterns of state row